Hello, Stats class. This is a homework question from our Section 3.3 homework. And what we're doing here is find the coefficient of variation. So the coefficient of variation, if you remember, is the uh, standard deviation of the, the sample divided by the mean of the sample. So it's basically like the percentage of the mean that the standard deviation makes up. All right, so what this one is to do first is find the coefficient of variation for the amount collected by the um, security service company. So this top row of data. So notice we got one of those boxes that allows us to open this thing in Excel or StatCrunch. Uh, I'll do it. In, I'll do both of them. I'm going to first do it in Excel, and then um, at the beginning of the video there'll be a link to how far in you need to go to to get to the StatCrunch part. So let's start with Excel. So you download it and then click on the download it'll open in Excel enable the editing okay and this is our data set so there's the uh, security service company okay the other company so you notice it's the same data set it's just in column format instead of a row so to get this again I need the mean and the standard deviation so I'm going to take this is a sample okay so I'm going to take this row and I'm going to compute both the standard deviation and the mean. So to get the mean I can click here here where the sum notation is and just click oops, let me put it in the window click that I want the average. So there's the mean of that data set. And then for the standard deviation click equals and start typing standard deviation and we get these options. So stand dev p that's for a population standard s that's for a sample that's what we want uh, this is the older versions of excel uh, it's the same format as this but this is the one we want for the newer versions of excel and then just again highlight all that and don't include your mean just make sure you just stop right there all right so there's our standard deviation of our sample and then it says uh, right as a percent so we need to take our standard deviation is our sample, so I type in equals, click the standard deviation, divide by the mean, right, and then multiply by 100 right, to get a percent. So 9.25% roughly, for the two decimal places. Okay, and then it says the coefficient of variation for the other companies. So I go back to that other side, and I do the same thing. I just Highlight, average, equals, standard deviation of the sample. Highlight my data set. All right, there's the standard deviation. Equals, remember, it's standard deviation, divide by the mean, times 100. All right, so there's my standard deviation for the, I mean, the coefficient of variation for the other companies. So 7.65. Alright, and then the second part wants to know is there a um, a bigger than 1% gap here? Is the, the gap between these two um, the percentage points bigger than 1%? And yes, there is a significant difference in the variation. Okay, we have a 9.25 minus 7.65 gap of 1.6 percentage points so there is significant difference in the variation. Alright now we're going to do the same question but this time with StatCrunch instead of Excel. So click the box again this time we're going to open in StatCrunch. That's the software that comes with our um, with my Labs Plus. So once we got in there you can see it's the same data set as we had before that the Excel file gave us the same data set we have here. And what you do is after you've got it in there, click stat. And we want summary stats for the uh, columns. So up and down. So summary stats, columns, and then you get to pick what you want. So we're going to pick both of them. And we want the um, coefficient variation. There it is. So hit compute. All right. Here's our coefficients of variations. Notice that is the same thing that we got in Excel, right? 9.249. Um, 
7.6544. All right, so there's our coefficients of variations. So um, really easy to compute in StatCrunch. Just again, let me just show you where it was. Stat, uh, summary stats, columns, highlight both rows, okay, and then come down here to statistics and tell it what you want, which is right there. It is coefficient of variation, and then compute, and there they are.